ingredients. I should probably eat these ingredients and see what they do. Bear claws, mountain flower, fly amanita, mora tapanella, purple mountain flower, red mountain flower, thistle branch. Okay. Shh, someone's there. I walked around the tripwire. Get some rest. Your shift is coming. And I don't want you dozing off again like last time. Is someone there? Ha. Epic bow skills. Thank God I can slow down time with my bow. That just makes everything so much more easy. Take that arrow back, thank you. You got anything on you? You got some gold. Steel mace. Uh, no, that's not of particularly high value, so I think I will just let you keep that. Pot is empty. More fly amanita. A pickaxe could come in handy, because I might want to mine some minerals, and uh, I will definitely want to. Believe me, later, it'll come in handy when I get into hearth fire. Hmm. Coin purse. A tattered journal. <sighs> well, poor fella. He was mining and uh, the tunnel collapsed and killed him. Requiescat and Pache. Kinda of dark here, I wish I had some light. Now let's not activate that lever, that might lead to a trap. Levers always lead to traps. There's nothing good around here, so I guess that's all we got. Someone's there! Come on. Come on. Oh shit! I misjudged the first time. Oh my god, I love slow motion arrow kills, they're just the best. Alright, let's go loot their bodies. Yay! Oh my god, I've only got six arrows. Shit. Oh well, I'm good enough with them that I uh, don't need all that many. Okay, let's take that iron arrow, some lockpicks, some gold. Awesome. In reality, in Skyrim, there, there is an ammo system with the arrows, but hey, you get, uh, there's so many arrows in the world that you're never going to run out, let's be honest. Steel sword! There we go! Okay, so now, I have steel sword. Now I just need a silver sword, which are reference. Actually, no, I do actually want a silver sword because, uh, oh no, wait, I'm using axes on this character, aren't I? Oh, that's right, steel sword's my other casual character. My bad. Well, uh, in that case, you can have your steel sword back. I No, I actually like steel swords. I think that I'm going to have it. Screw axes. Swords are where it's at. The funny thing is that it's, uh, even though it's an iron axe, it's actually on par with the steel sword. I just think that steel sword death animations and shit are just so much cooler. Not to mention the sword is a much more noble weapon. Alright. Oh, what's this? Oh. Apparently I'm not meant to be getting in here, but thanks to these planks that aren't there, I can easily get in there. A spell tome for clairvoyance. I have no need for such a uh, sorcery. I forgot to favorite the sword. I should probably do that. There might be someone around here. I don't see anyone there. Let's, let's go with FPS and check the corner. Ooh. Yeah, there was someone there. Uh, let's check where I hit her. I hit her right in the crotch with that. Okay, a key, lockpick, an arrow and a mace, which I don't want. Aha, it's always so much easier when you have the key. Spell Tome for healing. 
I already have healing. Oh well, I can sell that. Necklace of the Minor Knight. Anything enchanted, I will definitely take, because then I can disenchant it, and I can enchant some later with it. Which is pretty cool. Okay, let's see. These sacks are probably just filled with food, and I have no real need for food. More ingredients. What's in here? There appears to be nothing in here. Let's just equip this torch. Very dark in here, isn't it? Oop, open area. This might be crawling with bandits. And sure enough, just extinguish the fire. Arrow right to the back of the head. Oh, coin purse. I'll go loot that guy in a second. Ew, that's disgusting. Safe drop. Yeah. Oh. Banded up there. And that is my dog. You probably don't hear that, but if you do, I apologize. They bark at the slightest provocation. And they've got a little bit more than the slightest provocation, because there's a dog out the back next door to us. Light armor forging. Fair enough. I mm. want to watch up there. That bandit might come back and see me. And I'm not exactly a stealthy character in this case. The reason I'm going stealthy and not hack and slash is because well, it's like I said, it's almost best to get the drop on your opponent. It's better to kill your enemy than let them have a chance to uh, take you out. No matter how dim the chance is. Yeah! Perfect shot! Oh god! Eh? Yeah! Didn't even have to use my sword then. Perfect. Well, if there's any other ones here, they'll have to, uh... I don't see any more people running at me, and the music's gone, so... I think that was the last of them. Let's loot this guy over here. Then let's explore the cave some more. Oh, that went well. That went surprisingly well. Oh, what's this? So, ooh, coin purse and a chest. Novice. All right, let's lock pick. Voila! The trick to lock picking, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, amethyst, gold. I finally got myself that uh, precious gem I was looking for. So now I can craft that piece of um, beast slayer equipment. In fact, I can do it at that forge over there because there is a forge right there. Anything good here? No. He didn't have anything good on there. That's right. Oh, uh, why? Oh, I'm mean. Yawning. Coin purse. Coins. Gold. Ruby. Amethyst. Garnet. All that. Chest. What's in here? More amethyst and some banded iron armor. That could be valuable to sell. Let's see. Do this, shall we? Steel. And here we go. Scouters. Yes, Dragon Ball Z Scouters. These are one of the mods I actually installed when I was going through the Dragon Ball Z phase for Skyrim. 
Uh, there's a Dragon Ball Z mod, which uh, hasn't actually been updated in ages, apparently. And I installed these because I thought it would add, it would just add more immersiveness. But they're actually incredibly useful. They may be Dragon Ball Z themed, but they do fit in well into Skyrim, and they are very much items that would uh, come in handy. I'll show you why in a bit. All right? Should I go red or pink? I think I'll go red. Some more manly colour. Smithing increased to 24. Yay, level up! Finally, level 2. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go with health, because health is one of the primary things of my character. Alright, let's go and go to Apparel. Scouter Red. As you can see, it provides no protection, it is weightless, and its value is over 9,000. It's 9,001. Yeah, they, they definitely have that little joke going there. So, which means I can have it in my uh, inventory. Actually, I'm going to favorite it, because... You don't actually always want to be wearing it. There you go. I have a scouter. It may clip through my hair a little bit, but it's actually exceedingly useful, and I will show you why in uh, a bit. You should definitely look at this mod, especially if you're going to go for a, um, a character that does my sort of thing, which is go into caves a lot and fight things all the time, because it is exceedingly useful for that. Uh, I will actually tell you what it does, rather than show you, but I'll actually show you as well. This... Uh, Scouter, as long as you're wearing it, you get the Detect Life uh, ability, which I will probably show you in Active Effects. Sense Life, there you go. Uh, so basically, this has three Sense Lives. Uh, four Sense Lives, actually. Nope, five. So basically what it does is, every time there is a living creature, and it has to be a living creature, undead don't count, I think vampires count, or maybe they don't, uh, werewolves count as well, I think, because they are living, they're not undead. And basically what happens to them is, uh, you, you'll see, you'll actually see what happens. Okay, come on, I just need any animal, any living creature, anything at all. Fish don't count. Mud crabs count, though. Okay, so I'm definitely wearing it. Yep, definitely wearing it. When I walk into the village, you'll see. Oh, no, here we go. There's Wobbums, as you can see. I can see Wobbums through a wall. Because Wobbums is, in fact, contrary to popular belief, a living thing. Therefore, I can detect him. I can also detect people. I can detect animals, I can detect bandits, I can detect chickens, etc. However, it is exceedingly annoying to actually talk to people with this on, which is why I have it on my favorite bar, so I can turn it on and off as well. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, it's a good idea to get one of these and, uh... Oh, Curry wants to talk to me. What have you got for me? A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Hmm. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Legends hey, lost. Then you need to listen to. He sings at the inn most every night. Shut up, Hilda. Let's check this letter from a friend. My dear friend Xavier, you may not remember me, but this is little matter. I have a proposition that I just know you won't be able to resist, being the tireless explorer that you are. Oh, he clearly knows me well. Somewhere within the vast tundra of Whiterun Hold is a small encampment of giants with a stunning and mystical centerpiece known as the Sleeping Tree. It is there that you will find a seemingly insignificant die embedded in the ground and a key. Is it dace? Is it die? I think it's die. The die is actually a portal. A portal that leads to the heavens. You may have heard stories of the Sleeping Tree, one being that it was born from a seed that fell from a floating island in the sky. Well, I'm telling you that the story is true, and you can get there using this portal. Intrigued? I knew you would be. There is one small problem, however. The die portal is protected by an exceptionally large giant called the Keeper. And a large giant. That can't be good. He is said to be the guardian of not only the portal, but some kind of ancient knowledge as well. Of what this refers to specifically, I do not know. I would suggest avoiding him if all possible, though I do believe he is less prone to violence than an ordinary giant. You may even be able to communicate with him, if you can stomach such a thing. If you're lucky, you can just sneak in and grab the key without the big oaf noticing. 
You're probably wondering why I'm telling you all this. Let's just say that I'll be expecting some kind of reward for providing you this information. I'll be watching with anticipation your friend, McCurr. I don't seem to remember a friend named McCurr, but hey. Could be interesting. That's actually part of a mod, this uh, Sleeping Tree quest. Did so that is... To don't expect to... SHUT UP! I DON'T WANT TO TALK TO YOU! Do you really just randomly talk to stay away from him if I were you. people who just walk into your town? Oh my god. Okay, so, um... It's part of a mod, so don't expect to see this uh, particular quest if you are just playing the vanilla game. So, what do I need to do? I've gone and got myself a scouter. Uh... Hey, whatever you need. Buy you smear it. Take a look. Let's see. Um, actually, I'm curious. How much does the scatter sell for? It sells for 2,961. That's significantly less than over 9,000. Okay, let's see. What else can I sell? I don't need the iron war axe. I, uh... I don't want the banded iron armor. And I don't... I no longer need the steel ingots, or the wolf pelt. Until next time. You know, I think that, uh... I've achieved a bit this episode. I haven't I haven't really gotten into many fights, but I, I did get into a fight with those bandits. But hey, it's better than nothing, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, I suppose it's a good time today to end this video. I know this was probably a little bit less exciting than you would have thought, but future, uh... future episodes will probably be more exciting. At the moment, I'm just kind of... I want to go and play Trouble in Terrace Town. I figured that... Like after I stopped to uh, fix the graphics for a bit, I thought, oh crap, I want to play Trouble in Terrace Town, but I can't just leave my uh, episode unfinished, so I've gone and done that. So yeah, I'll be going and playing Trouble in Terrace Town. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!